Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're going to head to college action. I'm joined by Preston, the sports cheetah, and Brian Leonard. We're going to take a look at LSU at Mississippi. This is going to be Brian's best bet, so I'm going to go to you first, Preston. <laughs> Two weeks ago, the world was ready to fire Ed Orgeron after the Troy loss. Then he comes back with two wins. He beat Florida in a snoozer of a game, 17-16. And then last week, down 20 to Auburn, comes back and wins that one. Two pretty good defenses that they were able to pull off wins. Is LSU back, or were these other two teams just not what we thought? Yeah, I think they've obviously bounced back from the loss against Troy. You have to credit Ed Orgeron and just getting the team to play, especially down 20 to Auburn in a game that seemed like was over. And I think they just shut them out the rest of the way and, you know, grinded some points out and ended up winning by, ended up being by three or four points. But uh, yeah, I give them all the credit in the world. In this game particularly, my number is a little higher than the current one in the market at Ole Miss. I've downgraded Ole Miss so much this year. And I'd also downgraded LSU some. So uh, for me, I do, I actually do have a lean towards the LSU side. It's not necessarily that they're here and for real and here to stay, but I think the number is just a little short and it's definitely not negative. You know, coming off that nice comeback win against Auburn and off the win against Florida as well. So, I mean, they string together a little run here and, you know, don't think they're going to contend in the SEC, but potentially, you know, get into a nice bowl game and can at least call their season positive. Brian, uh, you look at this one, LSU's got a big game on deck, but it's two weeks away. So, you know, they're going to be looking ahead to the Alabama game and for Ed Orgeron being the first year head coach, um, you know that the rivalry games like that you got to get, but he's got that buffer. He doesn't have to worry about it for two weeks. Got to take care of this game because if he loses here, it doesn't matter. It's going to be meaningless what happens uh, next week at Alabama. How do you see this game moving forward for LSU? Yeah, when you started the season the way LSU has, I don't think there's any look aheads here for the rest of the season. Uh, LSU got some got the win last week, last uh, year against Mississippi, but two years ago they played here and they lost by 21 in Ole Miss. So. Uh, they're looking for a little bit of revenge there. and I'd break my seasons or my games down into first half and second half. And LSU this year, they've outgained yards per play. Everybody they played in the first half except for one game. Um, and, you know, this is a team that uh, is dominated the line of scrimmage in the first, first half of the games. They haven't lost the sack battle in the first half of any game. So I expect LSU to get out to a nice start here. Uh, Mississippi's a team coming into uh, last week. They were only averaging 8.8 .8 points in the first half. But they had three drives starting in Vanderbilt territory. They were able to put up 35 points. Uh, but I don't really think this is a very good defense. Obviously, they've given up 145 points the last three games. Uh, so the way I expect this game to play out is low-scoring low first half. LSU takes the lead. Um, and then I want no part of Mississippi in the second half because LSU's defense is very good. And if they know what's coming, they'll be able to defend it. So... Uh, I was look, originally looking at LSU in the first half, but I think I'm, the better play may be the full game here because once you've got a Mississippi team that is basically one-dimensional in the second half, I think LSU can, can pull away a little bit, and they've got some confidence. As you said, that big comeback over an Auburn team that everybody would thought was right back to where we were before the season started, uh, I think LSU, my number was 10 in this game, so I, I think it's a little bit cheap. I'm going to make it unanimous. I agree. I think LSU is the side here. And the big point that I was going to get to, you said Mississippi's a one-dimensional team. And I think that's going to help this LSU defense, which has performed, I think, a couple notches below what we're accustomed to for an LSU team. But whenever you don't have to really you know, gear yourself against the run and you can pin your ears and come after them for the pass. I think that's going to help LSU. I know that Mississippi did put up a lot of yardage on the ground last week, but that was against, you know, a Vanderbilt team that right now just everybody's running roughshod on. And I look at this old Miss team. They played three straight road games prior to last week's game against Vanderbilt. And I, there was California, Alabama, and Auburn. So the last two playing, you know, really good teams. But then they dropped way down in class, and they gave up 40, uh, 35 points to Vanderbilt last week. Uh, that's not a good sign. I like LSU here, and uh, they should be moving forward. And I keep waiting for this Matt Canada offense to kick in. Uh, they're, just, mm -hmm. they're still struggling to put the points on the board. It's, he's, uh, it's a Canada offense. He's still in the customs. <laughs> haven't made it to the state yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, guys, you want a three-day all-access package at Wager Talk? Pick your favorite capper, pick your start date, and it's three consecutive days, just $59. You won't miss a play. Guys, we've got 
football going, college and pro. We've got the baseball playoffs. We've got the NBA starting. We've got hockey. Pick your favorite capper. You won't miss a play from them, and it saves you money. Just $59 for a three-day all-access package. We're going to be back with more here at wagertalk.com.